What's up fam, it's Naj with Built By Plants. Today we're about to do a easy vegan meal prep. These are Chipotle style burrito bowls. All these ingredients are from the Walmart grocery shopping video. So if you didn't see that video where we only spent $42 for the full week of grocery shopping, go ahead and tap the link down below in the description to watch that video after you watch this one. The objective of this video and videos like this is to show you all how you can do your meal preps. You don't have to follow 100% of what I did, just take what you like. If you have preferred seasonings, different ones that you like, go ahead and add those. If you have different variations of the foods you see here, have fun with those. For example, we have brown rice right here that I already meal prepped, all right? I'm not gonna show this in this specific video, but there's a link to the brown rice video down below in the description as well. We have some black beans, but if you don't like black beans, then what you can do is make pencil beans like we have over there, or chickpeas. Then we have some veggies right here. These are green bell peppers. If you don't like green, you can use red, yellow, orange, whatever you want. And red onions, if you don't like red onions, you use yellow, sweet, white, whatever you wanna do. You kinda get the picture, all right? As far as the protein, we have tofu. All of this was bought from Walmart, like I said, so the purpose of this is to show you all how you can budget, still reach your body goals when losing fat, building muscle on a plant-based diet without overspending and still get really good tasting food that you can stick to. These are the actual Chipotle bowls right here. I walked into Chipotle and picked these up, told them to give me a couple of them, but this is the actual vegan meal prep that I made. I just put it inside of the Chipotle bowl, all right? This one doesn't have tofu on there, so you can kind of get a feel for the different ways you can do it. So let's get right into this, starting off with the beans. I'm gonna just give a quick summary on how to make the dry black beans from scratch. We want to keep it simple because this video is about the overall burrito bowls. If you want the in-depth video on how to make the black beans from scratch, go ahead and tap the link in the description. Click on the ones that says how to make black beans in the Instant Pot and that'll give you the full length video. For now, the basics, just rinse your black beans, put them in the Instant Pot. You don't have to worry about soaking them overnight with this method. We're going to be using a pound of black beans or 458 grams. And this is gonna be enough to last you for a while, not just for this one specific meal. If you wanna add some onions like I have, and then you're gonna include five cups of water, okay? So for one pound of black beans, five cups of water. If you don't want them to be too liquidy, do about four to four and a half cups. Add whatever seasonings you want to it. Then we're gonna put it on seal mode. Make sure that it is not in vents mode. Make sure that it's on sealed or else they will not cook. We're gonna set the pressure cooker to 25 minutes. And once that 25 minutes is up, it's gonna sit in the keep warm mode for about 15 minutes. Yours, depending on the Instapot, it may not say keep warm. Your setting may say L or lapse. You wanna let it stay in that mode for 15 minutes after it's done cooking, all right. Once that's done, you can go ahead and take them out. Now you can rinse your black beans if you don't want it to have this liquid-like texture. I don't mind it. This is how they have it at Chipotle sometimes, so I'm completely cool with it. But that's completely up to you how you wanna go about that. So while the beans are cooking, we're gonna go ahead and start making the tofu. So I'm just gonna go ahead and slice this open because tofu has water stored inside. You wanna be over the sink when you do this for obvious reasons right there. So this is the paper towel method. And then you can also just YouTube or Google some other methods, you know, that may work better for you, but kind of just wrap it just like that. Roll it and squeeze. Now, depending on the type of texture that you like from your tofu, you may want more water out or less. I'm not gonna trip about it. It's not that big of a deal necessarily for me. We got the skillet on, a little bit over medium high. So that is eight grams of coconut oil right here. What we're gonna do is go ahead and just start breaking this apart. If you want the full in-depth video for making a scrambled tofu, there's a link in the description below. For now, this is what we did, so we cooked four total blocks of tofu. We cooked them two at a time. So this is two blocks right here. I didn't have all the seasonings I would normally use, so I added in some turmeric, which I always use for the tofu. That gives it some really good color, so that's for nutrient benefits. Then I added in some ground red pepper. If you want, you can pretty much use that afterwards, but I wanted to give it a little bit more coloring and such. After the ground red pepper, I added in some kosher salts, 
and I finish it up with some nutritional yeast, which is gonna give it some really good cheesy-like flavoring, as well as lots of vitamin B. Now the key is to rotate all of the tofu so that the coloring can mix in fully and thoroughly. All right, so you wanna keep rotating, and then you're gonna let it sit a little bit so that it can cook all the way through, and that moisture inside the tofu can cook out. Right, then you will start to see a little bit of blackening on the edges, which is the way that I like my tofu. And last but not least, I went ahead and added in some diced tomatoes with habanero. Now, if you want, you can just buy some tomatoes and habanero, chop them up, or have you want to go about that. But this is what I did. I used a can, I poured it right on top, and I mixed it all in, and then I let it cook. All right, so in total, I believe I, this cooked for about maybe a total of 15 to 20 minutes on about medium heat. And I want the majority of the moisture to be cooked out. So that's why I cooked it at that length of time. Now you have to figure out what works best for you or you can just do it exactly how I did it. Now, once that cooked through and I tasted it and I was satisfied with the texture, I poured it in a big bowl and I rinsed and repeated for the last two blocks of tofu. And that will be our four total blocks. The last thing we're gonna be cooking is our veggies. So. We're gonna go ahead and slice this red onion straight down the middle. And then we can pretty much just pull out the top of the green pepper. Put it out, just slicing. And then we're gonna use the whole onion and three whole green bell peppers. So when I add a little bit of coconut oil. All right, let's start building out our bowls. I'm gonna be using a cup to measure the majority of the items because the cup is the actual size that we're using for everything, all right? So we have the brown rice first. I'm just gonna push it down. A cup of our black beans. Now let's grab our veggies, place those right on top. And lastly, our protein. Now you can portion how much protein you need based off of your goals. And if you want, you can add in some salsa, whatever you want to do with that. All right, additional items, you can add in some corn, so on and so forth. You can get creative with your bowls if you want to. Now let's make our second bowl. And with this one, we're not going to use our tofu, all right? Because some of you all may just want a bowl with the rice and black beans and the veggies. Well, this is what it would look like for the most part. And we'll just get extra veggies since we're not doing the tofu. So I went ahead and chopped up the serrano peppers so I can throw these in there as well, right on top. Same thing with this one. Throw those on top. So that's how we make our easy vegan burrito bowls. You can make them how you want, add your own flavors to it, your own seasonings, have fun with it. Remember, there's no right or wrong way to do this. It's about your preferences, what you like, what you don't like, your intolerances, the things that you do want to add, so on and so forth, all right? They don't have to be 100% the way that I did it. Make it your own. Don't forget that the ingredients from these meals were bought from the Walmart grocery shopping video that we did where we only spent $42 for the full week. 
So for lunch, we're gonna be having these burrito bowls, all right? Now, what I want you all to do is tap that like button, comment down below on what you all wanna see next. Make sure that you subscribe. Stay tuned for the dinner version of this. In the meantime, go ahead and get access to this specific recipe and add it to your meal plan if you're a Pocket Coach member. If you're not a Pocket Coach member, you don't know what the Pocket Coach is, Watch this. When I first got started trying to lose some fat, build some muscle, and get serious about my body goals so many years back, trying to do it on a plant-based diet, I had to figure out all these little components. How much should I be eating? How many calories? How much protein? What type of workout should I be doing? Where do I get this information from? And over the years, I figured it out. I learned about food skills. I learned about tracking my calories, body fat percentage, taking nutrition courses, certifications that help me gather the knowledge that I need. Sort through all the information on Google where people are just throwing stuff at you consistently. And you don't really know what to believe. Maybe that's where you are right now, but maybe you have started and just failed over time, invested a lot of money with minimal return on your investment. Well, I want to introduce you to the Built by Plants Pocket Coach. The Built by Plants Pocket Coach is the number one vegan fitness and nutrition app in the world with the ability to customize your own meal plan with a drag and drop meal builder that you can grab foods directly from the virtual kitchen. All of the foods that you see, random make, me make, high protein, low calorie, delicious meals, you can have it and customize it for just $1 to get started with. And then you get access to the app instantly. In addition to all the great tasting meals you're gonna find inside of there, you can also learn how many calories you need so that you can eat for your specific fat loss goals or maybe muscle building goals. Speaking of muscle building, we have training programs for every fitness level. It doesn't matter if you don't have any equipment, there's body weight only workout programs. If you do have access to a full gym, barbell, dumbbell, kettlebell programs for you three days a week, five, whatever you need specifically, we have something in there for you with all of our courses from Built by Plants put into one app that's continuously updated on a monthly basis. And join our community, which is probably the most important and impactful part where you can talk to other people that are on the same path as you, along with myself, and I'm inside the pocket coach every single day. You have put some i mean you've put some hard work into it man and i i it's one of the most enjoyable communities i've been a part of in a while man so kudos to you guys man kudos posting meals help for tips checking in on you making sure that you're doing what you need to do so you can reach your body goals so what i want you to do is go to buildbyplants.io sign up for the pocket coach and join the community and let's rebuild with precision i'll see you inside